What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more Bleach. Today we're doing episodes 25 through 28. We are getting deep into Soul Society. I am thoroughly enjoying it. Um, if you guys are excited, want early access up to 16 episodes as well as the full uncut versions of these reactions, check out the Patreon. Links down below. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and come on over to the Twitch. We're always watching this live. It's always a vibe. And if you guys don't mind, follow my other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. I'm not going to waste any more time. Bleach, episode 25. Let's do it. All right, this is episode 25. This is where we left off with Ichigo's huge spiritual non-refined cannonball. All right, Bleach 25. I like how the title screen was the cannonball spiritual core, spirit core. For some reason, the spirit core looks like it could be a ball in like a Final Fantasy game, you know? Are you going to give us some information, some world building? Yes, please. Yes, please. What, did we accidentally grab his tail? Did he do that in his sleep? That's why he screamed. Oh, heck no. The source of my pride. Hey, isn't he supposed to come with us? There's certain truth to that. Look at Goku. He's always the last to show up. He's standing up to her. She's, even she's a little shocked. Genius. Ooh, they're playing this song. It's about to get emotional. Oh, there's levels. Oh, he was lieutenant level. Oh, so he was a lieutenant. And we... Do you know who? Oh, we're getting deep. Two things I'll never forget. Can I see them, please? Yeah, I need to know more. That's kind of crazy. I'm glad you can tell that. Especially with how he is towards Rukia. I mean, Ganju was asking him, are you in it for money or why are you doing this? You know, so that definitely played a part, you know, in his respect for him. That's very unlike other Soul Reapers, just that by itself. This music be hitting, though. Understandable. Understandable. Welcome aboard, buddy. Especially because a lot of this happened when he was too young to process and actually know what's going on. So I, under I understand that. I understand that. I love his cute little paws. He most certainly can make a cannonball. I mean, he, are, he definitely gives off this very knowledgeable vibe, so I would not be surprised if he can do that so easily, you know? So are we going to be all together in one, yeah, one big cannonball? This is going to be crazy. We have to stick together, no splitting off. If you encounter, it's like Matrix. If you encounter any agents, don't just run. We're here for Rukia, no funny business. I like the plan right now. I'm not trying to risk no death and or injury. Especially knowing that in the manga, Jidambo got his arm cut off. Them squad captains do not around. I like the way the sword or the sun is shining off her sword right now. Harper Hude Greed desires 36 degrees of dominance. Ooh. 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 That's how she ignites it? That's badass as all hell. I love how there's such a ritualistic aspect to a lot of the things they do, you know? Even the executions, you know? It goes around the loop, comes back, and then goes up into the cannon. Kagizaki. There they go. 
I don't know when the next time I'm going to see you, Kukaku, is. But I thoroughly enjoyed your presence, and I thoroughly appreciate your help. Yes, ma'am. We'll protect Ganju with our lives. Imagine just being shot up in the air like that. Can't lose concentration. Keep focus. It's crazy how dangerous this is even starting the mission, let alone <laughs> accomplishing the mission, you know? Sirete. This is when they're doing the alarm during the squad captain's meeting. Yeah, Ichimaru with that smile. I don't like it. I don't like it. Kenpachi is running off immediately. No hesitation. Is this his lieutenant? Yachiru. He's... I don't know if I like the lip lick, but he's intrigued by someone who can survive an Ichimaru attack. We're dismissing the meeting. Gotta deal with Ikiaku. Ichimaru gives off Orochimaru vibes, where even if... Like, you never know what he's thinking. He's got something up his sleeve all the time. He's got that snake-like face, even though they call him Fox Face, which he does, you know, very interesting. Oh, if there's one thing I don't take you, it's lightly, Aizen. I want to know who this little genius kid is. I like this hilt and the guard of his sword. Fire combo. That is such a crazy way to enter this area. I love the way you can actually see it physically come in contact with the barrier. Oh my god, that shockwave is crazy. This really is the Ennis lobby of Bleach. Going against the, the societal government to rescue a friend, in which they deem to be a criminal. I mean, there's a reason Ennis lobby is one of the goaded arcs of One Piece. There's a reason people say Soul Society is goaded, you know? So, here we go. We're through. We do have quite a bit of fall that we're going to experience, but they made it. Come on, grab Ishida. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, what? Grab him. Come back if we can, and then go grab him. Oh, he threw him in, used himself as a sacrifice. No. Chad, again, is a real one. No hesitation. Went out to throw himself down to save Ishida. I respect it. One of them's Chad. Did they not connect at the end? I need to know who Kenpachi's voice actor is, bro. He's fire so far. Two Beacon, okay. Thank the Lord we're watching more. No bullshit. All right, here we go with uh, episode 26. So I'm curious what separated groups we're going to be in. I love how Orihime can just willingly use her power all the time now, man. Great training. Yoruichi's by himself? Oh, hell no. We got Ganju and Ichida. So that would brace their fall a lot. That's a fire title seek card. Kind of how he turned to sand. Kind of what he did to uh, Ichigo with his Zanpakuto. Put it in the sand. <laughs> sand went down a weird spot. Already have company. No hesitation right into the smoke. Even their designs look fire. Home on the left looks like Hanzo from Hunter Hunter. The guy on the right looks fire. That's gotta be Chad if the hole's that big. 
Man made a crater. Probably hiding behind that wall or in the tree. Yep, that's that boy Chad. We got Mr. Yoruichi versus a gang of Soul Reapers. But now that he's alone, are we going to see something he's been hiding the entire time or something like that? I'm curious. Man, just landed on the roof so gracefully. So I wonder if we're going to have separated fights like in Enny's Lobby or if we're going to try to group up. Because I think we should try to group up, especially with captains coming out, you know? This guy's a goober. I'm over here tiptoeing in my Jordans, for real. Shiny ass head, though. Must respect it. One day I'm going to see if I can rock the bald look. I'm thinking the same thing. Huh? Alright. No hesitation. Right into the smoke. Let's get it. I like that reasoning. Sometimes Ichigo is very logical. No hesitation. Great dodge from Ichigo. I like how he uses the sheath. Jumps off the sheath to dodge again. Oh, I love the way they animated that with the background being the splattered blood, but who hit who? Both of them hit each other? Damn. Ikaku. Matarame. They both slash each other in the face. That's crazy. Damn. Is that a new commercial cut? That was badass. Alright, is Ganju going to be able to win a fight on his own 1v1? Is he going to use some sort of wit to out-clever his opponent? What's he going to do? That's a handy power. He's just going through mad walls, mad barriers, but is this going to lead to something even worse? Yeah, because we really don't know where we're going right now. They just got a random ass hole? What the hell? The old execution ground. That's barbaric. That's extra barbaric. Crude, yeah, to say the least. I don't really have an issue with watching executions. But, like, that's crazy. Yeah, you got nowhere to run. You're not making that jump. I, I don't think you're jumping in, like you just said. Do you die by sword or from the pit? It's crazy. We haven't seen a hollow in episodes. Like, it's our, our worries are so much different right now in the Soul Society arc, you know? Going against Soul Reapers and saving Rukia, I would have never expected this. And in his hilt has some Vaseline or something to stop it. That's kind of handy. I would consider that wisdom. I like that. The sheath making it almost like a two swords is crazy. Is he going to mention Kisuke? This will be the first reference to someone besides Rukia in the Soul Society who would know him. I want to know more. Ooh. Is that him in his Soul Reaper fit? What is that? Come on, give me more info. I want to know more about Kisuke. Extend? Oh, his Zanbok toe can extend with his sheath? Oh, that's kind of sick. It turns into a spear. 
Love the way he glides it with his sword. A nunchuck spear? Oh hell no. Kept some sand, maybe to blind him. Smart thinking, Ganju. Get past him. More sand. That was a quick witted play. I like it, but you are kind of in a whole hoed position now. Okay, Mr. Just Kidding. Got the spirit core on him. Okay, that's handy. I don't know, it was developed by her. That's cool. Squad 11, the strongest squad around. Okay. You are gassing yourself up. I love how every Zanpakuto has its own ability in its own form. This is like a sickle. Like it makes these quad, a quadicle. What? It quickly explodes. Shout out Ganju. At least we're on the other side now. <laughs> he acts, he even acts so much like Knuckles. It's crazy. I could totally see Knuckles doing that. Ichigo tanked that hit to the face. Sansetsukon. Using the bandage built into the sword to wrap around it so he can't lose grip. That's kind of badass. that where this episode is going to end the 2b continues are always different as well all right so next episode this is 27 he's literally just watching i wonder if it's like kisuke where when he mentioned kisuke and the guy recognized him immediately great title screen i wonder if people see mr yoroishi they'll be like hey is that mr yoroishi is that like are there cats in soul society i don't know you know whoa he hey hey whoa 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 let the man enjoy his lunch a great looking lunch too i think i'm gonna have something with rice for lunch when i'm done streaming rice sounds delicious right now it's rookie's lunch Did, does he not know she got transferred to the tower because i guess she he wouldn't be informed because they moved up her execution date and they're doing stuff that they would wouldn't normally do you know so i guess he wouldn't know it would make sense what's on your mind bud Tell us. Does he like really like Rukia? Not like have a crush on her, but like he is sad that she's about to be executed, and especially in this way in which they only execute higher ups for. Like, I want to know more about this execution, you know? Hey, when Ichigo, he doesn't talk a lot of shit, but when he does, it usually is backed up by action. So talk your shit, man. Oh, we can, can unextend to stop the movement right there. I guess it, it can unextend and extend at will. That's kind of kind of handy. That's a cool Zanpakuto. And it can wrap like that is it has a lot of utility purposes, you know, especially if you can master that technique. I was not expecting Saitama to be an actually impressive fight, but this man's thoroughly going heck going crazy. Ozukimaru. Okay. Oh, that's from the end of his of his spear. They seem like such an interesting combo because she's super just fluffily talking, super upbeat, you know. Chad's just, oh, what's going on over there? 
he's gonna run into his own enemy knowing chad there's no way he's just gonna get there cleanly you know i hope he does i hope he can group up talk about some power in his attack he cut his zanpakuto in half Slashed him right down. That boy Ichigo's got some power. I mean, you definitely can, but if that didn't intimidate you at all, I'm curious what we're going to do next. You'll have to cut my arm off. Ooh. Sees the movements of Kisuke in there during his training. Yeah. That was a great shot. I love the way they animate this. Came the double slash. Just like that. Our first Soul Society fight, Ichigo wins. That was a much better fight than I was thinking it would be. Shout out Saitama. Then we got a guy with the quadicle. Is that a bomb? The sister is a fireworks expert. I love how he can ignite it from whatever that is on. Is that on his calf? His leg? Smoke bomb. Taco chili pepper. Oh, that'd be right in your eyes and your nose. Okay, Ganju, come on. That would just be torture. You guys are both about to fall in and die. Because Ichigo's not that type of dude, man. He doesn't want to kill if he doesn't need to. Ichigo stands on business. But not in an assholey kind of way, you know? Wow. Ichigo's a real one for that one. Feels shame. Supposed to fight to the death, you know. No, we don't want to know that. Bro, man needs to be a mountain climber, holding up two people with just like the two inches on his grips. Man's got the gripper strength. It's just a garbage shoot now? Either he was joking, or now that they don't use that practice anymore, it's just a garbage. And it has a ladder? Interesting. Interesting. Not what I was expecting at all. Where is our girl? Capital offender? Whoa. We're gonna we're gonna save her, take her back. Thank you, Ikaku. I was not expecting you to be an actual character. Me. That's not, I knew he was going to say that. Because they're nowhere near captain level. Captain has no interest in weak men. Okay, and that's going to be Kenpachi! <laughs> Oh, don't just be teasing him like that, though. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. And Pachi's a Rocky. To be continued, that's a fire way to end an episode. Gotta have a character who's constantly getting lost, you know. But she also did say go some directions, because, you know. Interesting, interesting. All right, this is episode 28, last one of the session.
if you need to find someone in soul society that's a it's a great way to do it but you also get the attention of damn near everyone gotta do what you gotta do he doesn't even know where he's running either jesus there's so many dead ends oh that's such a cool intro card right there another ravine another pit This guy's obsessed with his looks. It's like Kirsch. Is that his name from Black Clover? That most certainly could be Ichigo. Yes, it is. So we're, we're somewhat close. That also is something you should have deduced. You wouldn't be running around if uh, Ikaku wasn't defeated, so... Shooting flower, Senpin Banka. Ba Damn, cut him. I know he's gonna hate that because it's this pretty face. Took a quadicle slash to his back. That is rough. You know he's already feeling it from earlier too. My man is in some pain. He's saying he can use it when his guard's down. I do agree with that. Shiba style secret move. Renkon Seppa. Man's turning into Gara out here. Oh, that entire footing area. Oh, he jumped up. Firework right at him. <laughs> what a you wanted to die you wanted to go out beautifully right what a beautiful way to go out and he signals ichigo where he's at that's hilarious w fight w's in the chat for my man ganju oh but also let kampanchi know where we're at oh, did she dodge who saved her that Ishida? Absolutely legendary, man. I want to see Mr. Yoruichi in action. I get to see Ishida in action now. Yeah, let's leave Orihime out of this. That's a dirty move. I mean, or he make a whoop your ass too. I just wanted Ishida. I just want to see Ishida's training. Tsubaki, Mr. Cut You in Half with the Shield type Mofuka. Is that so? That's not good. Ishida with a great arrow shot. Ooh. That bow looks crazily cooler than his bow before. 
I like the black outfits of Soul Reapers more than I like Ishida's white outfit in general, but with the bow, it fits him. Like, it fits that color scheme insanely. I'm not gonna lie, he looks like he should be like an Organization 13 on some Kingdom Hearts shit, but I, I'm not saying that as an insult. Can't wait for us to see Rukia. Is that the guy who was her caretaker? Hanataro. Is this the squad Ichigo ran up on? Bro, what the hell? Dog piling him. Going against a horde of Reapers. I wonder who Chad's going to be fighting. Imagine. He also has projectiles. I like the way he kind of did that, though. Pushed it in. They're just constantly fluttering and flying around him. Jerobo. Wind Scythe. I think of Jerobo. I hear Jerobo. I think of the Sound Ninja 4. Projectile v projectile. How is this going to work out? That was gangster, and he's talking shit. Ishii does about that action. <laughs> give us your give us a nickname for yourself oh oh that's what's his name kurotsushi he has an interesting design what are you i mean you clearly don't look like a human so understandable i think i recognize his voice actor as well Black butterfly, a hell butterfly. Emu. Getting info. No, he lost. So it's gonna be a squad race now. I like their kind of personal investment in this. All right, Mr. Yoruichi, looking agile as ever. That's Frieza? Oh my god, how did I not recognize that? I can hear it so much. You saying monkeys. That is hilarious. My man Chad's making his own path through, just like Kenpachi. He sees Ganju. Well, Ganju was in the general vicinity of Ichigo as well, so... Is this where the episode is going to end? God damn it. God damn it. So we're getting deeper into Soul Society. I'm loving the battles, not only obviously between us and the squads themselves, whether it's Ikaku, whether it's Homeboy who's obsessed with his prettiness, um, but I'm liking the squad captains just wanting one, a challenge, and two, to outbeat the other squads because they have this personal investment in this. Um, Kenpachi. I'm very nervous, but also very excited to see him in action. Um, we got Kurotsushi, who's very interesting. Now I know he's voiced by... Bro, the voice actors I recognize immediately. That's, I mean, I don't recognize, but I know I can recognize them. So I love that he's Frieza. Kenpachi is Yupi from Hunter x Hunter. Knuckles is gone. Like, it's so funny just Im imagining these characters. But thoroughly enjoying these fights. I'm loving the quick wittedness. Like someone said in chat, Ganju's like Usopp. I can totally see that with his use of tools, with his trying to use cleverness to outwit his opponent. Like I'm thoroughly enjoy that aspect because he's not always the strongest person. Ichigo is just kind of the brute force. So is Chad. Ishida, thoroughly impressing me right now, especially with his new sick looking bow. So, so far, I'm invested. I want to see what's going on with Rukia. I want to know more. Like I want to, are we going to get more low level squad fights are we gonna fight a squad captain i don't even know how we would are we gonna eventually make amends with the soul reaper society the only reason i say that 
is because at, not at one point in my entirety before starting the show would I ever thought we would be fighting these characters that I know. I thought they would notice we're cool, take us in, teach us the ways, and we would be fighting hollows and hollow bosses and stuff together. I never thought we'd be they'd be antagonists to us. So eventually we have to be cool with them, right? I hope, but they're about to execute our girl. So they need to apologize. I really don't know how it's going to work out. Really invested, thoroughly enjoying this. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out that Patreon for 16 episodes, early access, as well as the full length. And come on over to the Twitch and watch this live with us. It's such a vibe, I tell you, every single time. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. You never know when a hollow is going to come after them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.